bring out your dead. <laughs> There are two kinds of hospitals. The kind you see on television looks like a grand hotel for hypochondriacs. Dazzling efficiency. Everything is antiseptically white, but there's purple romance seething beneath those starched bosoms and banded masks. They're not even allowed to sweat. Sheer fantasy. But it's all very dramatic and exciting. <laughs> The real thing is something else. What it lacks in glamour, it makes up in downright absurdity. Are they treating you well? Oh, not too bad. That's right. No, I'd like to go to a toilet. Sister? You know. Fetch this patient a bedpan, please. No, a toilet with a decent chair. Staff. Like I've got a toe. Get Mr. Flagg a bedpan. Nurse, get Mr. Flagg a bedpan. Oh, no, sweet. Get Mr. Flagg a bedpan. Mr. Barnett? Hello. Bedpan for Mr. Flagg. So we've got two hospitals, two plots, two shifts of actors. Only some of them may look a bit familiar. An epidemic of split personalities. Now look, don't flinch or you'll do yourself a mischief, all right? One slip there and Bob's your auntie, eh? <laughs> Bob's your auntie. It's a double dose of delicious drama designed to cure whatever ails you. Sentimental and sloppy, if you ask me. We didn't ask you. <laughs> Same with these doctors. Half the time they tell you not to smoke, Half the time, they're smoking more than what you or I do. You look at Churchill. Well, what's he got to do with it, then? You look at the way he smoked. You know what kind of a man you'd be getting? An old fool who thought he could play God? Who spent his life saving others. Yes or no? What? Have you had your bowels open?